So we all remember that we were working on our action plan. And I hope by now at least we've got two or three more goals that we've got that we would like our school to achieve. Because it's very difficult for us to do this next part without knowing what we want as a school. So the next part is next to your resources column. You can draw another column for policies because having policies in place is extremely important. If you do not have a policy in place and something happens at your school, you may get into a sticky situation. You are formalizing what you want, but you are also making the parents, the teachers, the learners aware that if something doesn't go according to plan, there is a policy in place for that. Just like we have a code of conduct, um, we also need to have policies for our ICT integration. And I know when we visit schools and we ask them, maybe please have a look at your ICT policy. Or can we just have a look at your cell phone policy? They don't have it. But you see children walking around with cell phones, um, earphones, video calling. And again, like I said, just as you have a code of conduct, you should also have a policy in place for these things as well. So yes, you may say that learners can bring their phones to school on a Tuesday and a Thursday, but is it documented some way? Do the parents know that it's only on a Tuesday and a Thursday when they can have it? So if a teacher sees it on a Wednesday, can the teacher take it away from the child? Are there rules like that in place? So these are things that you need to consider as you move forward. So now I would like you to just have a look at those objectives that you've created, that you and your team have created and the tasks that you need to do to achieve that objective. And then your six success criteria to achieve that objective and the time frame and the resources that you're going to need. In the next column or under resources, try and think about what policies you might need. So if you say um, our goal is to have teachers use cell phones in the classroom for informal assessments, do you have a policy for that? Do you have a cell phone policy? Do you have a template? Do you have a draft? Do you have a version one? <laughs> These are things that you need to think about. If you want children in the computer lab from a Monday to a Friday, what stops that child from searching for anything they want to online when you are not looking? So there has to be a way for you to, for lack of a better word, cover the school in case something happens because we're moving like this now, you know, we can't even keep up with what's going on around us <clears throat> at the moment. So that's why we felt that this policy, thinking about policies is a very good way for us to end this so that you have an entire package. When you go to your principal, your deputy principal, and you have your meeting and you say, this is what's going on. This is the, the, the path that the ICT committee would like to walk. These are the policies we need. This is the plan. We're trying to equip you better moving forward. And these are policies that we believe should be in place at schools, should be available upon request, should be either in draft format or should be finalized. 